I'm sad that there's more of this. Uh, oh, well, I thought this was going to be a weird game, but these are perfectly normal everyday circumstances. I did not think they could make those twins creepier, and yet, here we are. Here we are. That face accurately summarizes my feeling on this game. Sorry to keep you waiting. It will start soon. I should hope so. This is the worst waiting room I've ever been in. All you have are issues of Home and Garden magazine from 1985. And if you're gonna do the creepy twins saying the same thing, it should be the same thing at the same time, not rephrasing it five seconds later. Oh, hang on, I just got a call coming in. You guys keep being creepy, I'll be there in a sec. Zach. Wait, when did he pronounce the ch? Zach. Can you hear me? It's me, York. You know, the peppermint patty. If you can hear my voice, could you respond? Zach here can't come to the phone right now, but leave a message. Wait, was that just a quick time event? Sort of, yeah. So God of War uses quick time events to pull the head off a Hydra. This game just used it to say hi. The crime took place out in the country this time. Let's take it slow. Cause you know, it's the country. Okay. It's not like anyone out there really wants their crime solved in a timely manner. They've got things to keep on with. And now a dramatic reenactment of the guy who has the part of the script that makes this all make sense getting lost on the way to the shoot. Looking at it, but it's totally wrong. Francis York Morgan, armed only with his classy entrance theme and his catchphrase, but it's totally wrong. He is our last hope. They both need each other. It's called interdependency, and they both know it. He's talking on the phone, smoking, and working on his computer? What is he, the FBI agent in charge of irresponsible driving? Well, I hope he's not working for the traffic authority. I can't say much for his quality of vacation photos. It's his partner's job to fulfill that need, and Jerry knows that. Judging by his cheek, he either pissed off his cat this morning, or he sucks at shaving. Well, in the Tom and Jerry show, they live with each other. What is he, the agent in charge of Saturday morning cartoons? Hello? Hello? Wait a minute, this isn't even a real phone. I've been talking into a candy phone for half an hour. I can't believe the Bureau still can't get me a satellite phone. Can't or won't? Maybe you just haven't slept with the right people yet. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. Those are odd-looking puppies. I'll be a happy camper, even if it ends up being a waste of time. At the very least, it'll get me out of the cramped city for a while. Right, Zach? Uh, you know you're the only one in that car, right? I think he's talking to a cigarette. The perpetrator from the last case really was something. Animal, vegetable, mineral maybe, I'm not sure, but something. something. Razors laced into her nails. Today's agent on the go smokes police brand cigarettes. Well, at least I now have a scar to show off. One I can show in polite company anyway. See this? I got this when I arrested the Catwoman wannabe. Hey, you leave Eartha Kitt out of this. Crazy. Don't you agree, Zach? Wait, I bet Zach is the car. Why, yes, Michael, I agree with you completely. Uh, my name's York. Sorry, Michael. It's, it's, it's not working. Just leave it, okay? Oh, see, now you look, you should have paid attention. Now you look stupid. Oh, for a second there I thought that was the fifth time I died, but apparently not. Worst roller coaster ever! What? Those squirrels were making monkey noises. Oh well, yeah, it was actually supposed to be monkeys there, and they'd already bought the sound effect, and then they decided to switch to squirrels, but... Squirrel noises are expensive. It's important to note at this point that this is not an old game, just so you guys know. Yeah. This is like, came out a couple months ago. Yeah, this is brand new. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, that was crazy. I got a tweet about this. Oh. Oh, hey! Alright. Everything's looking up York. And hey, if the lighter doesn't work, you could always just stick your head in the fire behind you. Hmm. Wait, did he just put a lit cigarette in his pocket? What, what is the purpose of this exercise? That owl noise is actually coming from a badger. Zack, there goes the civilized world. Wait, if Zack isn't the cigarette and the car is destroyed, is Zack... 
Is he talking to his penis? <laughs>